What is up guys? What is up everybody in the building? Pro player apathy. You know who it is. You know who it be. I am playing some competitive hard point playlists. So these kids that I'm going to be playing aren't going to be bad at all. But I'm trying to focus more on the video itself and the tips rather than the gameplay. So if I shit on them, I shit on them. If not, it's all good. So today I'm going to be giving you guys five tips for becoming pro. And a lot of you guys always ask me these questions and what can I do? What should I do? And the more you guys kept asking me the question, the more I started, you know, getting more answers to it. And I felt, I feel like I have the five perfect tips for you guys. And it's obviously going to take a lot of work and time. It's not like it's, you're going to magically just become pro. You're going to have to put in the time and the work for it to work and for you to become pro and for it to happen. But today, I'm going to be doing just that. So tip number one, and the biggest tip, in my opinion, for becoming pro. Be the best player you can be. Now, this goes a long way. A lot of you guys might tell me already, apathy. I already try so hard. I already try my best to be the best. I do. I put so much time into work. You know, it's just not cutting it. Or you guys may start saying some excuses like that. First of all, when I mean be the best player you can be, nobody is going to pick up a player that sucks, right? You guys tell me, why don't I get a chance? Why don't, doesn't anyone give me a chance? You know, all these things. First of all, think about it this way. Would a team pick up a player that sucks? Realistically, would a team pick you up if you sucked? Probably not. Now, you got to drop the ego if you think you're good. You, need, but you probably need a lot of work on your work, you know, drop the ego, try your best, be better, you know, be the best player you can be, put in the time, put in the work, have the work ethic to be the best, you know, it doesn't come, it's not going to take you one day to get better, it's not going to take you a week, it's going to take you a couple weeks, maybe months for you to really, you know, level up your gameplay, level up your skill. And it goes a long way with it's various things, you know. It's not just your gun. Anyone can shoot a gun straight. Okay, this game, the auto-aim does fall off a little bit sometimes. But anyone can shoot a gun straight in Call of Duty. It's more about smarts. It's about communication. It's about knowledge. It's about awareness. It's so many different things that will make you the better player. And that's stuff you need to work on. You know, you need to improve every day and try to fix these things. And try to become the best player you can be. Because that is the biggest tip when it's, when it's to become a pro. And that's the only way you're going to get noticed pretty much. So the next tip is learn how to take criticism. A lot of you guys, especially if you're young, do not know. I got a warden too. Let me call this pitch in. You guys do not know how to take criticism at all. Maybe you're, you have an ego. Maybe you're just ignorant. You know, it's a lot of things. Maybe you hate people telling you what to do. I don't know what the case is, but a lot of you guys have egos pretty much, and you guys are just young, you know, you're you're not fully bloomed, that's the word I was looking for, and you guys don't know how to take criticism, yes, criticism's even hard until this day, you know, sometimes I find it hard, but I've grown, man, I, I've learned, you know, taking criticism is a very important part when it, when it comes to becoming better, and nobody wants to deal with a, a bitching player that doesn't know how to take criticism and just talks shit the whole time and doesn't shut up and you know like every time you tell him something he doesn't want to get better he just argues like no team or necessarily player wants to deal with that you know you better be a god for someone to deal with that you better have the skill of scumpy or someone like a top player for someone to deal deal with you if you're that type of person teams want a player that knows how to take criticism and wants to get better and learn so, you know, if you have the ego, you know, if you're ignorant, you know, I don't know what to tell you, man. You got to drop it. If you really want to get somewhere and you want to get better on top of that, you have to learn how to take criticism. That's going to be a big step in improving and, you know, getting a shot on a team. Step number three, play online tournaments and local lands. Now, obviously, that requires some investing some money and participating in these tournaments. They're obviously not free and they, they require, you know, a couple, a couple, ten, fifteen dollars per tournament. And it does kind of suck. But at the end of the day, you have to look at it as investment. Not only does tournaments help you get better, on top of that, it's going to help you get your name out there. Oh my god, three piece. You know, the more you play tournaments, the, the better you do at these tournaments, the better you're going to get. And on top of that, not only are you going to get better, but people are going to be like, yo, this kid shit on me. Holy shit, this kid was good. Yo, we should pick him up. Yo, we should give him a shot. You know, like, you guys always ask, like, how can I get my name out there? How can, you know, teams notice me? Well, realistically, you know, on Twitter, if you're kind of a nobody, no offense, or, you know, you don't really have a name for yourself, a good way to get noticed is tournaments, online tournaments. Yeah, you maybe seem like a joke, but some people are going to give you a shot. Some people who, who sees your skill and potential are going to want to play with you. And that's a big way of getting your name out there. Like I said, it does require investing some money, like loot, because you're probably going to lose. You're not going to get too far. But, you know, how bad do you want it? Like, do you, are you willing to, uh, to invest, you know, you know, some money in these online tournaments, you know, every week or every month? You know, it's, it's up to you in the end of the day. How bad do you want it? And go to local lands as well. Local lands is the best way to, to find, you know, 
your your local best skill. Like these local players are gonna be pretty good. They're not gonna be bad at all. And not only is it gonna get your name out there if you do well, like holy shit, this kid won a local land. You know, the people who go to these local lands are probably not that bad at all. They have skill, you know, they're pretty good players. And you just going to these lands and doing well at them is going to get your name more out there. Like I said, people are going to... What the... Wait, wasn't that... Okay, I was like, there is someone here. You know, that's pretty much what I did. I went to these local lands. I placed like top three, top two every time. And then finally, the first place team uh, needed a player. And they decided to go with me and we won. And, you know, it's just a great way of getting your name out there. It's a great way of doing, th doing it. And just... The, the, you also get a little bit of experience and some land experience, you know. It's not the craziest thing, but it's still something. Step number four, be serious about it. Nobody wants a team with someone who's gonna half acid. Nowadays, this shit is serious, man. You can make big money playing, becoming a pro and playing, you know, playing these tournaments or whatever. Like, you can make some serious good money. You know, people want it bad. Like, nowadays, people are motivated, driven to become a pro and just put in the time and put in the work. People grind their asses off, especially amateur players. And when you're not being serious about it, when you're the teammate or the player that's not being serious about it, you're not putting the time, you're not putting the work. They're not going to want a team with you. On top of that, it's going to hinder your skill and your growth to become a better player. Because the more serious about it, the more you grind, the more serious you take scrims, practice, anything. You're going to become so much better and you're going to notice good, good results very fast and quickly. So, you know, like you can say you're serious about it, but don't give it a 100. Don't give it a 90%. Don't give it a 100%. Give it a 110%. Give it a 120%. You know, like act like you want it. You know, work for that shit. And the last step. And nowadays, with Twitter and social media being so freaking big, socialize. Socialize. Talk to people. Be active. Go on Twitter. Conversate with amateurs. Amateurs players just like you trying to make a name for themselves. You know, get to know them. Be friends with them. This is really important when it comes to joining a team sometimes. You know, let's say you have the same skill as another player. And they end up picking you up just because he knows you better and he likes you better and that that chemistry and that and that socialization i don't even know that's a freaking word but that's gonna help you so much you know you know getting into teams and getting your name out there and especially like i said if you're if you're low tier amateur player you don't have anything or you're not even a you know you don't you don't have a name for yourself you know socialize with people socialize with top amateur players socialize with other amateur players you know it, this is what it is nowadays twitter youtube everything's so big and you getting your name out there and talking to people is going to help you, you know, like I said, get your name out there. And, you know, maybe you get a chance or, you know, someone will choose you over another player. So that's very, very important nowadays. So those are my five tips for becoming pro. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sort of an updated version. You know, I've done these video. I did like a video or two before back in the day. But, you know, the more the question kept getting asked and the more I kept th thinking about it, you know, I just it slowly changed. I mean, similar to the same answer, but a little bit different. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you did learn something, drop a like. Seriously, it helps out a lot. This has been your boy, Apti. Hope you all have a great day, and I'm out. Peace.